In this video, we're going to go over ATP synthase and chemiosmotic coupling. So as we discussed, oxidative phosphorylation is the process by which the oxidation of NADH and FADH2 is used to produce ATP. This process has two steps. The first is with the electron transfer chain where NADH and FADH2 is oxidized to produce a proton gradient. The second step is the proton gradient being used to produce ATP. So a couple terms here. First, chemiosmotic coupling. This is based on the chemiosmotic theory, which states that the energy produced from oxidizing NADH and FADH2 is stored as a proton concentration difference across the inner mitochondrial membrane. And as you recall, protons are pumped from the mitochondrial matrix to the intermembrane space. So that means there's a high proton concentration in the intermembrane space and a low proton concentration in the mitochondrial matrix. Now, this energy stored in this proton concentration difference is sometimes also called the proton motive force. So the proton motive force is sometimes referred as what is being used to produce ATP. And it's important to note that this proton motive force has both chemical potential energy and electrical potential energy. So the chemical potential energy is due to the concentration difference that chemicals naturally want to flow from higher concentration to lower concentration. The electrical potential energy is referring to the charge difference in the mitochondrial matrix and the intermembrane space. By pumping a bunch of positive charge in the intermembrane space, it makes the mitochondrial matrix negative and that will help to attract positive charges into the matrix and that is also a form of potential energy. So what happens, and as you can see in this diagram, is that with this proton concentration difference, it's possible for protons to flow down their concentration gradient from the intermembrane space and into the mitochondrial matrix by passing through special protein pores called ATP synthase. And as the protons pass through ATP synthase, the ATP synthase will couple the proton transfer to the synthesis of new ATP molecules. So that's essentially how we're able to produce lots of ATP using that proton concentration difference.